Hey everybody, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboom.com and today I want to take you on a before and after tour when we bought our farmhouse and six months later. Now if you're keeping track, you might say, eh, by the time this is coming out it's closer to seven. I agree, you're right, <laughs> but I put off making this video. So it's just a month late, but the half of a year progress is what I want to show here. And my goal with this video is to try to get all of the same shots that I got in the original tour video and show that shot and then the after. Now I'm not watching that video at this exact moment in time, so I might miss a few things, but that is what I'm gonna to try to take you through. So let's start in the entryway because that's where I started my other tour. Now on the other one I did start on the outbuildings and the barn but we haven't done anything with those except for gut the garden cottage so I'll update those later. This is going to focus just on the main farmhouse. When we first walk into our farmhouse it's going to mostly look the same. I haven't done a whole lot with the entryway. We did get the floors refinished and the walls and trim repainted so that helped and then we also replaced the light fixture here. This is a vintage fixture that I picked up on eBay and I had the electrician rewire and hang it. The ceiling is still planked like it was when we bought it and I still have the same French doors here. The other side is more of the red color just like it was before and I eventually plan to strip that. We did add this hutch which I mentioned in a recent antique haul video. Now the door is still red. I debated just painting it to get that offensive color out of here. But I really want to strip it and I feel like another layer of paint will just complicate that so it's still red. I have a mirror I want to put here and a table but I haven't got to the entryway decor portion of this yet. So not a ton has changed in the entryway. There will be changes coming soon to it but I think just making the floors back to their original glory and painting the walls a fresh color made everything feel a little bit better in here. Coming off of the entryway into the living room. Now I shared this whole room recently, a full blown tour. You can visit that if you want all of the details, but basically we refinished the floors, painted, added curtains and new furniture, and this room is feeling cozy and a lot brighter. Do still want to strip this door and then the door that leads from the living room into the entryway. Okay, coming off the entryway, this is the dining room. Now, this is a room I also have not really given much attention to at all. We have the floors refinished, the walls and trim painted, and that is about it other than bringing in our furniture. This room, I just love the windows in here. It has a beautiful view onto our property. And we made it prettier by brightening up all of the trim. I added a plate wall over here above the pie safe, which was easy to do. It brought in some color. And these chairs here, the set of four chairs, came from an antique shop and then we have a bench on the other side that my husband built originally with this table. I still don't love this table in this room. We'll probably eventually swap it out, but for now it totally works. Now this is currently my office and the reason for that is we are renovating the kitchen, as you know, and that's where my office is going to go. So I brought that little blue chair. I thought I was going to go out in the kids' cabin but it's actually a really comfy chair. It sits a little bit low, kind of sink down into it, but it's really nice. And I have my computer, and then over here in this hutch, there is all of the paper and cords and hard drives and office supplies. So this room will look a lot different whenever our kitchen gets done and we can utilize it how I really want to utilize it. But um, for now, it's kind of just a catch-all room and office and not really a room we use for much else other than that but we probably 
eventually will. I'm still loving my hutch that's full of my Flow Blue China collection and some of my Ironstone. Again, that'll probably look different and more curated when this isn't my office room. I also would like to replace this light fixture but it'll definitely do for now. We would also love to strip the pocket doors, but that's probably a long way away because I think you have to actually like take the frame down to get them out, so I don't know what we'll do about that, but I'm not loving the color, and I would love to eventually have those stripped out. All right, to the right, when you walk in the front door, through the French doors is the kitchen. First, we'll look at the eat and dining area. Now, I did a whole video on this, so if you didn't see that, you can um, check it out in the cards and down below, I'll link it because I'll just go briefly into what we did here. We had the floors refinished, the walls painted, the trim painted. I had a lot of people concerned when I posted this before and after makeover that we painted over wood trim. We did not. The wood trim was already painted chocolate brown, so we painted over the chocolate brown paint, but we did not paint over good wood, I would not do that. So we painted it a fresh white, we added a vintage chandelier, a plate wall, an antique hutch, a vintage Turkish rug, a table I found at an antique shop, and some chairs as well that I also found at an antique shop. It's all vintage and collected and we're really loving it. Now let's move on to the rest of the kitchen. I know you guys all wanna see it so badly and I'm sorry, it's just still not done, but I will explain what's going on. Not much to see here. But we did add the window, which I've already shown on here. We added beadboard on this wall. We have a vintage inspired schoolhouse light and then some sconces. Now the sconces can be tilted up or down. I currently have them in up position because I want the open shelving to go up as high as possible and so it might need to go up versus down. We'll see when I get that in. We still have someone working on our vintage stove out in the garage. He came the first couple times and then he hasn't come in a while. So I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that because we still have this ugly stove. But over there, there will be a beautiful vintage stove. There'll be a sink centered on the window. And then we ordered a fridge, a new fridge, and it was supposed to come yesterday and they ended up saying that when they opened the box, it was damaged. So this is still the state of the kitchen. I can visualize it and it's gonna be so pretty. It just is such a long process. I ordered the trim for around the window. I actually custom ordered it from a local woodworking shop because they can make it just like this trim. They'll make it to match, it'll look all Victorian and pretty and have the rosettes in the corner and a windowsill and then I'm gonna add crown molding to the top there and It's all coming and then I'm also going to be putting some more Beadboard around this area and then we still kept one of the cabinets just for additional storage because obviously at the moment We have none we put our old table over here. It's a good workspace Clearly no sink so <laughs> dishes are still happening in the bathroom this is still sitting here, it won't be. And then this whole area is gonna be a nice, like built-in office slash cabinetry area. So not much to report on the kitchen, I'm sorry to say, but it is all coming and it's coming soon. The guy that's building our island is sending me pictures and stain colors, so that should be here probably in the next week. I know some of you are gonna comment that I'm out of breath. I am, I'm 30 weeks pregnant at time of recording, so yes, I'm a little out of breath, walking around, talking to the camera. Next up is the mudroom. Now I am just gonna overlay some footage of the mudroom makeover that we did because I haven't touched it since. And of course, having five kids, it's always a mess. In this tour, I want to show you how our house looked when we walked through it and then the best case scenario if it was all decorated how it should be, how it looks now. Now you guys know that's not the case, we live here, but if I show you the changes that we made back when we did the mudroom makeover, that's still how it looks. We haven't done anything in there since then, except make a mess. So we repainted the walls, repainted the floors, I added some drop cloth curtains that I made and dyed and shared a tutorial for that on here, painted the door blue, added a wreath, added some hooks for storage, and just kind of cleaned it up, mostly. All right, over here in the pantry, again, nothing's changed except that we've added our stuff. 
I have big plans for a pantry makeover that's going along with this kitchen makeover. So there's gonna be so much good stuff in there. I want cabinets in there and shelving, but for now it's still the pantry that it was whenever we bought the house, except for with all of our junk in it. I'll give you a quick shot in case you just wanna see, but same thing, just a lot of junk. Now I've been asked if I'm gonna leave the flooring kind of like the flooring and I think whenever my design plan goes on in here actually it's gonna look really good so I might leave the checkerboard flooring I am gonna add a new trim around here because this is just kind of some knockoff trim I want the original style here's what the stairs look like when we first bought the house the stair treads were kind of painted brown and really rough and the paint was just a little bit tired. So we first painted the beadboard a fresh coat of white going up. We painted the walls. We had the little closet door beadboard repainted, all in fresh bright white in a semi-gloss so it'd be nice and washable. Then we had all of the treads of the stairs refinished, which was kind of pricey, but really, really worth it because hardwood is just so easy to keep clean. And it brought out that orange color of the heart pine flooring underneath, which to me is just so warm and beautiful. It matches perfectly with all the other floors and was totally worth the expense. The whole area here just looks a whole lot fresher. We also painted all of the spindles fresh white as well. Now you can get one more shot here of going up the steps in the old brown paint that was there before. Now when you come up to the stairs and go to the left, there is the room that used to have brown floors, green walls, and then white trim. We painted the floors with some off-white paint, freshened up the walls, added a vintage rug, and now it is Micah's nursery. The floors were patched in several places. There was an area where we see that steps used to come upstairs. So anyways, the easiest solution was to paint them. This and the adjoining bedroom, which is mine and Luke's bedroom over there, has always just been my favorite room. I love the light and bright. I just love these floors. Now, of course, I'm really glad that the rest of the house has wood flooring that isn't white because it's just so easy to keep clean. I love the rich tones, but I do like this little area of light and bright. Also is really good for photos. Whenever I was taking pictures for my book, there was so many times when I used the light in these rooms with the light bouncing off of the floors and it just made for some really dreamy photos. If you're a photographer, you know how wonderful white is. So having these two rooms like that is just really nice for that. It's just a quiet little refuge for me and Luke, and I really love it. Well, as far as some of the details in this room, I found this wool rug at an antique shop. I would really like to replace the crib, maybe get something that has kind of a vintage feel to it. This one's got some stickers on it. It's been through a few kids by now. This will be probably where the baby goes after about six to 12 months after he or she gets out of my bed. So then Micah will move in with the big boys. So I'm probably gonna get a new crib at some point. I have a little slip covered bench, a basket, a handmade blanket. And then I love the way this view peeks into our room where there is that really beautiful armoire that acts as our closet. And then over on the side, I just have this old dresser and some baskets to hold some of Micah's things. I made the linen curtains. I would like to replace this light fixture, but for now it will work. It's a little bit primitive to me for this style of a room. 
but it totally works right now. It's definitely not overly offensive or anything, so it'll stay for a while until I find that perfect fixture. Now we still plan to add a door here, but for right now it's just a curtain that whenever Micah goes to sleep, we just pull shut so that he can't see kids going up and down the steps right here. Now for the master bedroom portion, I'm just gonna include the footage from the tour I did several months ago. And the reason for that is we haven't done anything to the master bedroom since. So you can see the before and after of the brown floors and then the light and bright floors and what we've done in there. Nothing has changed since my last video on that. Now I do plan to do a few things. I would like to get some different nightstands. Something wood or something with some color would be nice. I'd like to do a little bit of wall art. I might eventually add some curtains in this room. There's a few rooms in the house I wanted to add curtains and that might be one of them. And just overall keep my eyes peeled for some unique pieces to bring into this room. But for now it's pretty plain. We've painted the trim, the walls, the floors, and brought in our own furniture, and then the armoire, which we had to hire movers to bring upstairs because it was so heavy. And then I also added the vintage chandelier, which I found from a local antique shop. Coming off of our bedroom is, of course, the master bathroom. So we haven't done hardly anything in here. You can see we've painted the floors before. They were chocolate brown. We came in and painted them Benjamin Moore Tapestry Beige with porch and floor paint. Again, they're just kind of damaged, and so the best solution in this case was just to paint them. The floor guy didn't want to mess with them, and I actually really love this room so much. Now, obviously, we need a new vanity, a new medicine cabinet, but the bead board and all of the bright white, I added my ticking stripe curtain here. And then over here, this window just lets in so much natural light and it's a pretty view of our property. I just really love this bathroom. I don't feel like it'll take a ton of work to make it really pretty. I don't really wanna switch the layout or really much about this. I don't know that we'll switch out the tub. I'm actually really liking the tub and shower combo. I might do a different shower curtain but I like the white tile, um, I like the beadboard, I like the door. I probably won't do much except for swapping out some of the like vanity and medicine cabinet and then I feel like it's pretty much good to go, which is great. I know it's not like a modern bathroom, but it's so bright in here. It just has like a spa-like feel. I don't know how to describe it, but I really love it and we haven't done much to it. So in this room, we have the armoire that we found at a thrift shop. Again, there's no closets in this farmhouse, so the armoires are great for clothing storage. That's what we use exclusively. And then I brought in the two iron beds, which we had in our old house. I brought in a new round jute rug, well as some wall art and a desk that I found over at another thrift shop. As you can see, almost everything in this house is just really collected. We just find things as we see them, bring them in, and then add it to each room. Now for this room, I have a few things I really want. I really want an extra large wool rug. The other day, I thought I found an amazing bargain on one. Turns out I measured the room, and the rug that I wanted a wool rug was 18 feet by 11 feet it was so cheap oh my goodness i wanted it so much but the boys room isn't even close to that big it would literally not even fit so i'll have to keep my eyes peeled but i would love a nice large rug so that their beds don't slide around so much and also just the boys won't damage their flooring as much because they're obviously wild boys and also just for the warmth and texture of a rug other than that i'll probably add more to this room as i find things but it is definitely good enough for now. All right, coming off of the boys' room here, we're going to the girls' room now. This is a room that <laughs> I'm not really allowed to touch. Now, of course, I could fight the issue, but it's one of those things that isn't worth it. My little girls are not minimalists. 
they're in love with every one of these dolls and all of their clothes and like I said I'm not willing to fight that battle and I really want to get a big wool rug and put two like vintage beds but they like their day bed because they want a gymnastics mat and there's their cat and their hamster and all of their books so this is just kid zone and this is definitely how it looks after I've cleaned it up a bit so we are just letting it be kid zone and maybe one day they'll let me decorate and make it adorable I have visions for a big vintage wardrobe and the, the vintage rug and beds, but for now they got their day bed and their gymnastics mat. So the changes in here since we moved in, if you recall, it had teal window trim. We had that painted a fresh coat of white and we repainted the walls in Benjamin Moore dune white. We had the floors refinished there was also a hole in this floor because it led down to that spot I was showing you in the living room. The floor guys patched that for us just for safety concerns. And that's pretty much it in this room. I still would like to have the door stripped down. It's fresh, it's clean, it will definitely do. All right, in their bathroom, same thing. We didn't redo the flooring yet. All that we've done is had everything, the walls, windows, and ceiling painted. And that's pretty much it. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed that tour and you're able to get a little bit of perspective on what the house looked like six months ago and what it looks like today. It is still totally a work in progress. I kind of hesitated to make this video because it's not done. But I think that sometimes you just want to see the process and it's usually a slow one. We actually hired a few things out like the floors and the walls and the trim all being painted and refinished. So in my opinion, we've made even more progress than I expected. But of course, there's still so much to be done and we're looking forward to taking you along on the journey. So if you're brand new here and you've never watched any of my videos, hit that subscribe button because I'll be making a ton more of updates. I'm really looking forward to the one year one. That's gonna be a whole lot more fun because more will be done. I also love to take you along as I find the pieces. I love showing you the antique hauls that I get and where the things that I'm finding are gonna go and just share the entire process of us collecting and putting this old Victorian farmhouse back into a comfortable home to share and enjoy. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. I also make two new videos every week on Food From Scratch, Natural Living, and a Handmade Home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.